2.5 talks about stretches of functions, both vertical and horizontal. This tutorial will only review vertical stretches. If you want to learn about the horizontal stretches, just watch the next video. So vertical stretches can be applied to, say, a polygraph test. Um, you know when someone is lying when their heart rate spikes. So that spiking of the heart rate is a vertical stretch. In this example, we have y equals f at x. There's a graph of it right there. What they want you to figure out is what happens when you put a 2 in front of the f at x and when you put a 0 0.5 in front of the f at x. We have a table of values of each of the points on the original f at x. So here's negative 4, negative 2, right there. Negative 1 and 0 is right here, and so on. So just some key points. Now what you're going to do is multiply the y value by 2. So all of the x values are exactly the same, but by putting a 2 in front of the f at x, you're going to now double all the y values because it's a vertical component. You'd expect that if your point is right here, it's now going to double in depth to negative 4. Just like this spike, if it's at 3, it's now going to be doubled to 6, and so on. This one, though, since it was 0, even if it's doubled, it's still going to be 0. If we look at 0 0.5 in front of the f at x, we would now expect all the y values to be halved. Okay, so again, the x values don't change, but your height does. So if you had the original point right here at negative 2, it's now going to be half of that at negative 1. Or even this spike, okay, right here at 3 originally, will now be half of that at 1.5. So it looks like when I put a 2 in front of f at x, it's going to be a vertical expansion of the original by a factor of 2. Just like if I put a 0 0.5 in front of f at x, it's going to be a vertical compression of the original by a factor of a half. It's the exact same rules that we've seen for parabolas in the past. Your a value, if it's greater than 1, is a vertical expansion by a factor of a. Versus if it's between 0 and 1, then it's a vertical compression by a factor of a units. Now if it's less than zero, a negative number, it's not only a vertical expansion, but then it's also a reflection. This is more of an example that we're used to, talking about parabolas. For number two, we're going to take a look at the regular parabola, and then we're going to stick a three in front and a two-thirds in front. So what you have already is a step pattern for the original y equals x squared. And notice that if you put a 3 in front, your vertical steps will multiply by a factor of 3. Just as if you had put a 2 thirds in front of your x squared, each of your original 1, 3, 5 will now be multiplied by 2 thirds. So it's now 2 thirds, 2, and 10 over 3. Your horizontal does not change because your a value only affects your vertical. So here's the original graph. And using the step pattern at the beginning, we can draw our next graph. Over 1, up 3, put a dot. Over 1, up 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, put another dot. And then the last one we can't fit in, and that's okay. Then we do the same to the other side. The other one, over 1, up 2 thirds is about 0 0.6 or 0 0.7. So right about here. Then over 1 and up 2. So I'm just going to go up 1 and then 2. And then over 1 and up 10 over 3 is about 3.3. 3. So 1, 2, 3, and a little bit. All right. And it's exactly what we would have expected. The orange will be stretched and the green will be compressed.